Do you know that your name is an incredible part of your identity? It tells about who you are and could also be traced back to your roots. So, what's your name? My name is Kwame. What's your name? Ayomide. What's your name? Adewale. What's your name? Adomi. What's your name? Olushola. Yes, we have various names. But do you know the meaning of your name? Yes, of course I do. Do you know the meaning of your name? Do you know the meaning of your name? Do you know the meaning of your name? Sure, yeah. Now, what's the meaning of your name? My name is Kwame, born on Saturday. My joy has come. It simply means um, a day that is crown. Then Wale means come home. Join us on the show, What's in the Name? I remain your host, Busola Oru. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Boos TV. Your comments, your likes, and your share go a long way. We are still in the business of names. This is the show, What's in the Name? And my name is Oruwa Busola Oru. This week on the program, we will be discussing some sets of names. Mind you, these names I'm about to discuss, to you, they may seem controversial, while to some others, they may mean something else. What names am I talking about? I am talking about the sets of names that are regarded as Christian names. Are there really Christian names? What are Christian names? Please, feel free to send in your opinion or your answers to us on the program. As is the usual tradition, this program is for us to learn. So, we rely on your opinions, your comments on this program. Like I said, we will be discussing Christian names. Names like David, Solomon, John, Matthew. Are these names really Christian names? Findings reveal that when we talk about Christian names, the word Christian names, it means Christ-like names. When we now talk about Christ-like names, and we regard every name in the Bible as Christian names, which is what most people do. What then happens to those names in the Old Testament? Because, truth be told, everybody refers to every name in the Bible as Christian names. But the fact remains that Jesus was not in existence in the Old Testament. He came into existence in the New Testament. So why refer to every name in the Bible, both in the Old and in the New Testament, as Christ-like names, which is Christian names? Please, get me right. I'm putting the question across to you. Names in the Old Testament and in the New Testament are all referred to as christ -like like names because anybody who names their children Samuel now Samuel is in the Old Testament they still refer to it as Christian names which is Christ like names are they really Christian names findings has it that most of the names in the Bible are either Hebrew name Jewish name and the likes this sets of people have just mentioned now. They have their own tradition. They are human like us. They were only fortunate to be in existence when most of the things in the Bible happened. Reading through the Bible in the Old Testament, there was a man called Jabez. He was given this name, Jabez, because when his mother gave birth to him, she experienced deep sorrow. And so therefore, she now named him Jabez, which is what we are still talking about. That before naming a child, some situations could warrant the name given to a child, which was what happened to Jabez. However, along the line, growing up, 
Jabez discovered that the meaning of this name was having an effect upon his life that is sorrow. So he decided to change his name. But that is not even my point right now. The point is that many people have opined that if Jabez had not changed his name from what it was, many people would have still called their child Jabez, all in the name of Christian names. Do you agree with me or not? Well, truth is, if we refer to these names as biblical names, fair enough. Well, that is not my opinion. That is the opinion of some sets of people. Now, let me also bring another thing to your limelight. That's the name of Jesus in Hebrew, the original name, is called Yeshua. Spelling, Y-E-S-H-U-A. You can find out. His Hebrew name is Yeshua, which is the original name. And the English translation given to it, I did not say this, it was findings, research that revealed this. The English name translation for it is Joshua. So how did we come about the name Jesus? I mean, we are all aiming to learn on this program. So if we have some scholars who can also shed light on this, please send in your comments on this as well. Now, the truth is, most of the people in the Bible, they lived various ways of lives. The lives of Solomon. Solomon was known for a man, to be a man. Solomon was known to be a man with many wives. David, the singer and the dancer. David also was known for so many atrocities, although he always repented. He as well killed a man for his wife. But that is not even where I'm still heading to. Where I'm heading to is that most of these personalities in the Bible, whom most people usually name their children after saying that these names are Christian names, most of these people have a particular way of life which they have led, although most of them usually repented away from these sins. But the question I also want to ask you is that, why do you usually give your children these names in the name of Christian names? Is it because of the personality in the Bible? Who bore this name? Or do you know the deep-rooted meaning of that very name you are giving to your child? If you know of the deep-rooted meaning of most of these Christian names, please feel free to send some of these meanings in into the comments box and let us learn as well. This is because most people do not know the deep-rooted meaning of most of these names. Also, do you want your children to live the life most of these people led them? Because truth is, whatever motive you have behind you for naming your children these names called Christian names, it goes a long way in your child's life. Finally, Many have opined that there are no such names as Christian names, that all we have are biblical names. Whether this is true or not, is left for you and I to find out. Another set also opined that if most of um, these incidents in the Bible that happened started in Africa, for example, Nigeria, most of the names in the Bible would have been either Igbo names, Aosa names, Yoruba names, and so many other from different ethnic groups here in Nigeria. Whether this is true or not, I do not know. But they also pose the question that if these names were names from Africa, 
when names like Yoruba names, Igbo names, and Hausa names, would other countries who would be reading about the Bible have accepted these names as Christian names as well? Well, I'm going to call it a wrap at this point. Join us again on the show, What's in the Name? But before we go, don't forget, press the like button, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, your comments goes a long way on this show. From Mitzira, I remain Usolao.